What up, what up, what up? Welcome back to the channel. Had to go to Best Buy, pick up a new SD card because my other one was messing up. But we are back in business now with a bigger SD card as well. As you guys could probably see by the title, I'm talking about selling my bike. You know, I don't want to sell it. But at the same time, this bike has caused me nothing but problems since I've gotten it. I love this bike, but my plan is to sell this one, sell the FZ07, put all that money together, and go get a newer S1000, because these are my dream bikes. Or this, this side is my dream bike. Uh, I made spam cards, so I'm gonna try to film handing some of those out. And the only thing that's really giving me problems right now, so everything on the bike is fixed, except for, I have a, as you can probably tell from my, from my other videos, <clears throat> I'll sit in first gear when I'm sitting at red light instead of neutral because the majority of the time I can't even find neutral on this bike, which probably means it's one of three things or it could be a multiple t multitude of things, but it's either my clutch lever is not adjusted, my clutch cable isn't adjusted, or my clutch as a whole is worn out and it's time for a new clutch. Now this bike does have 44,000 miles on it, and <clears throat> my FZ07, I replaced the I replaced the clutch on that one, clutch cable and clutch plates and everything with the clutch. I replaced that at like 27,000 miles, and I can I can just imagine this bike has been ridden more hard than my FZ07 was, and I replaced my FZ07 clutch a lot sooner. And then I bet you this one hasn't even been touched. Don't get me wrong, if I do sell this bike, I'm gonna have to redo everything. That's exhaust, plastics. Like, I, you know, I got a buddy, see, like me right, right now, I'm trying to put it in neutral. It won't even go into neutral. Roll backwards, won't go. Roll forward, won't go. It's just stuck in first. The only time I can get it in neutral is if I'm rolling and I pull in the clutch real fast and I'm in above at, or at least fourth gear and I just kick down real fast and it'll be super easy and seamless but if I'm doing like one at a time or downshifting like rev matching and downshifting it won't even go into neutral it'll skip right over it because of how hard I have to press down which means it's probably the clutch that's worn out and it's time for a new one but uh yeah that's I mean I, like I said, I don't want to sell this bike, man. All right, we see you, Favo. We see you. See me? I'm trying to put it in neutral now. It went straight to second. And then I kick down and goes right over neutral and goes into first. So. And if you know anything about riding motorcycles <laughs> and then having the heat on top of you, you holding that clutch in and traffic when it's stopping and going, your hand is gonna give out. I'm gonna be tired as mess. So my hand's already tired from riding over here. Uh, the next video I'm shooting is gonna be this Friday. I'm going back to the track. Um, I'm gonna put it, that'll be the second time I put it in uh, slick mode. So the first time I rode in slick mode was just by myself. And man, I want to get on the interstate so bad, but I just got a ticket for speeding. I gotta go to court for that, so I'm not trying to get no more tickets. And, uh, but see, like when I don't need neutral, I hit neutral all the time, shifting up, which is so weird. Yeah, it's, it's just time for a newer bike, man, you know. I'm a. I'm a guy for the older bikes and that's been well maintained, but I should have known from when the stator went out or the stator was back when he gave it to me or when I bought it from him, it was bad and I should have just known right then just try to sell it and get my money back and just waited for it to get a newer BMW. Because all these problems and how much money I put into it is not it, man. It's not it. 
see like that right there? That's from fourth to fifth. And that's using my quick shifter. That's not even me using the clutch, and it's doing that. Why, right, yeah, I, I can't keep doing that, man. So I'm gonna just go ahead and sell it. I'm gonna do a few more videos on it. But the only thing, my only problem is, it's 2011, and I would like to at least get 15 grand for this bike, just because of the work I've put into it. So like what I what I priced everything, all the work I put into it, and the the U-Haul truck and trailer to over an hour away there and back a couple times. Like once I priced all that together, it, it was well over 18 grand. And I was like, nobody's gonna give me 18 grand for this bike because it's not. That's what 22 2022 models are going for, like the base models. So yeah, I'm gonna have to try to work with somebody and what they can give me or try to see if a dealership from around here or nearby will try to take it for 15 or something but the lowest I take on this bike is 12 and I'd, I'd rather get my 15 so I can get my money back which or a little bit of my money back it's not even all of it but a little bit of my money back super hot today I was gonna get out yesterday and record but it was literally a hundred degrees out living in Alabama the hundred degrees don't play straight heat straight humidity and I just didn't feel like getting out but yeah shoot today it's around like 97 98 it, it's not as hot as it was yesterday but it's still hot you know right there man I cannot escape them man ever since I got pulled over I've been riding with cops cops in front of me cops behind me like man give me a break but yeah the goal today is to give out at least five spam cars I have ten in my pocket but at least to give out five to other bikers or just put them on some people's cars or whatever like on their windshield wiper or something like that I know like some people are going to say something about it. Oh, you shouldn't be doing that. Like, put touch people's cars and whatnot. You know, get over it. You know, it's just a piece of paper. You don't want it. You're going to do whatever you want to with it. You can throw it away, put it on the ground. This is just something, this is just a small investment for me to like market myself and get myself out there other than uh, like put myself on a dang billboard. <laughs> or my Instagram ad or something like that. It's a lot cheaper to do it like this than, like I said, Instagram ad or a billboard or a Facebook ad or something like that. I mean, my TikTok videos have been kind of blowing up here and there. Like I have one that's like I had over like 150,000 views and a couple over five grand, but it's nothing major really. My main TikTok blows my second TikTok out of the water. But my second TikTok video that blew up over 100,000 views blows my whole main TikTok account out of the water. <laughs> but not in total, not in total views, but just that one video blowing up like that, like it did, it does. So yeah, when we go to the track Friday, I'm hoping to learn how to launch my bike properly. Um, Try to and then test out slick mode while racing as well. And uh, because we were well, last time we raced, it wasn't like my bike was it wasn't acting weird, but I was first of all, I wasn't in slick mode, I was in race mode. Race mode it, that it unlocks the bike for like a street rider, like it gives you full power for like a street rider. Slick mode is insane, like that is straight up. Moto GP, like the whole bike is unlocked. Like as soon, like it's instant throttle response. Like you twist that thing just a little bit, and you're already at 7,000 RPMs. It's crazy. And I only rode it on the street for maybe like 30 seconds. And like I was doing, I think I did 130 in second gear. Like that's that is insane. I know, I know some people are like 130. Like that's not. You're not supposed to be that low in first gear. I know I was short shifting it, whatever, but you 
know, I was just just having fun. I wasn't really just I was just testing out. I wasn't really trying to push it to its max. So we're gonna get out there and have some fun Friday. We're trying to get a bunch of people out there. And then oh in the next video, we're gonna have a Father's Day ride out this Sunday. Hopefully it's gonna be a big turnout. I mean we've been advertising it for a good little bit now and we have more people in our riding group. Yeah, that should be fun. Try not to get into any trouble. Because the last thing I need is trouble and tickets. So I already pay a grip and in insurance on this bike. So yeah, back to the selling this bike. I mean, probably won't ask you, oh, why don't you just buy a new clutch for the bike? Okay, that's cool and all. I can drop the four or five grand on a clutch and like for all the parts that I need. I can pay, um, I'd say like $600 in labor. And then I got a U-Haul truck and trailer it all the way up there and then I gotta go back to pick it up. That's gonna run me a good, um, I'd say about nine grand out of my pocket. Now mind you, I, uh, I can just sell this bike let somebody know hey it needs a new clutch they can fix it but I'm not putting any more money into this bike like that's my bottom line I'm not putting no more money into this bike there's no reason to it's an older bike because like all the money I have dumped into it I could have bought a brand new 2022 already like a long time ago but instead I could just keep on you know oh it's my baby I'll just fix it real quick and then something else breaks on it or something else goes out or I need something else and it's just never ending cycle so I'd rather just get it off my hands let somebody else fix it and just go get a new motorcycle and it doesn't even have to be new like I've been looking at used BMWs like just newer models that are used I got like 10,000 miles on them and it has majority of the stuff done already to it like exhaust shorty levers blacked out windscreen um, I haven't found any with a power commander already on it or a tune or flash or anything like that. Just the slip on exhaust and whatnot. But, you know, I can add all that stuff down the road. I'd rather not to, but, cause like, I'm tired of spending money. But that's what I gotta do, I like, guess. That's what I gotta do. Back. All right, I didn't find any motorcycles out today. Probably cause so how hot it is. But uh, I, don't have any, I haven't given out any spam cards. Today was a fail, but to recap on the video, we thinking about selling the bike and clutch is bad on it. The reason why I want to sell it, or I think the clutch is bad, it's hard for me to get a neutral. Uh, might be getting a newer BMW if I do end up selling this. And yeah, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was a short video, there really wasn't much to it, but. Don't forget to subscribe, share, follow me on TikTok, it's BushV2. Uh, ride safe, wear your gear, even when it's hot, I know, I'm wearing it too. But I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video, see you guys later on the next one.